Hello, I'm Jamie, and this is Mike. And today we've got a challenge of a technical nature. Today we've challenged the three boys to a battle and they are all cooking the same recipe. This recipe is from our next book, Bucket List, and it's by our mate Steve, who is an actual real chef who works in an actual real restaurant. We've made one, we know how it should taste. We're gonna compare their three to that and find a winner. As if all those challenging steps aren't enough, we've also given them a three hour time limit, which is a little bit shorter than is required. So they're gonna to have to work out where, if at all, they can save time. Three hours starts now. Beat together the, the butter, butter and the ice. icing sugar into a light and fluffy. Who printed this out on what printer? Mine's absolutely fine. Mate. Why is this I've done on a typewriter? Oh my goodness, I've literally got this page as a barcode. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing they need to tackle is the pastry. Slightly different method to the one we've done before. This is Steve's method. They need to beat together the butter and the icing sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's the finesse that is going to win me this. It's a pastry case. You don't need it to be light and fluffy. Mate, it does yeah. say beat until light and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> then add in the egg yolk and then the flour and bring it all together and then knead it just until you get a dough that comes together. Over kneading will cause their pastry to shrink back in the oven. Rest in the fridge, 30 minutes. What? So Mike just added two tablespoons of sugar syrup into his pastry instead of water. Oh, good. Preheat the oven to 170 degrees. Now, big question, do I have to wait or can I move on to my filling? Where's cling film? Have you got cling film, Jay? I don't have cling oh, film. I saw him throw it over here. It says to rest this in the fridge for 30 minutes. I'm gonna put it in the freezer for 15. The next thing it says to do is to roll the pastry out. We can't so, do that for 30 minutes. Right, so we need to do something else. Filling is super simple. It's just lemons, eggs, sugar, and double cream. I want to get ahead on my filling because I get the feeling it's going to take a while to do all of this, like zesting six lemons, juicing six lemons. So I want to get ahead. So he started making his filling. Don't look at Jamie as a guideline for anything That's in life. Quite like... <laughs> <laughs> excited. Six lemons is a lot and it's boring to zest. You are covered boring. in the ice sugar, mate. I am, I know. If it's on me, it means it's not in his dough, which I think gives me an advantage. <laughs> yeah, but mine's also got 50 milliliters of sugar syrup in it instead of water. So You're a piece. POS. Why am I a POS? I used something, so I put it in the washing up bowl. POS, yeah, for the first time ever. Nine eggs! Nine eggs! So my tactics here are to start making something that I know won't spoil which is the jelly. We are not completely evil. We have already made them a raspberry puree. All they need to do is mix that with the stock syrup, the white wine, and the bloom gelatin. Heat it up and let it cool down. It needs to be almost set at the point they're pouring it on. Um, what is this stock syrup we speak of? I think you're supposed to put that in your pastry at the beginning, aren't you? <laughs> That's where to go. It's ready to be poured over my lemon tart, which is about an hour away. As long as it hasn't set up, I shouldn't be too screwed. Pre-zested, pre-squeezed. <laughs> oh, you ass. <laughs> you absolute ass hat. This is already rubbish. The real pressure point is rolling it out because it's not an easy pastry to work with. I've got nine minutes until my pastry needs to come out. Because uh, I'm doing it properly, I'm not trying to rush it. Um, oh, okay, go that way. Oh, interesting, nice. Not nice, Ebers, I've ripped it. Confidence, confidence, go, go, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you don't want to do is work it too much. No. I might have to get in the fridge for another half an hour. If there's one thing I know about lemon tarts, they can't be too lemony. What do you mean then? If they are too lemony, that's terrible, or? They can't be too lemony. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you know what I mean? They, they just can't be too lemony. If you make them too lemony, that's bad. Is no, that what, no what I'm saying, no. No, because they just can't be too lemony. So if I'm making a lemon tart like, like I am right now. Yeah. 
Note to self, this can't be too lemony. Whatever you do, don't make it too lemony. Don't make it too lemony. No, because you, Got it. you can... Got it. Cheers, mate. <laughs> That's exactly what Steve's look like. Is it? Oh, wow. I'm absolutely bricking it. Are you still bricking it? I'm just doing. I'm bricking it less now that I've seen that. <laughs> but I am still bricking it. That is very well done. So what's happened here is that you've seen how not to make it twice. So by now, this is how you make pastry. Oh, this is horrible to do, isn't it? My loose bottom's not helping. One hour down, two hours to go. I'm waiting on my second prove. It's not a prove. It's a rest. That's got to rest for 30 minutes. Then it's got a blind bake for 10 minutes. So that's 40 in total. Then we've got to get the custard in there, bake for another 40 minutes. That's now 80 minutes of just cooking time alone. And it has to cool in the fridge for an hour. So that's two hours and 10 minutes. Yeah. And we've got two hours left. Yeah. Are you not resting yours? You're mental. No. Because I think it's, it's more important to get it in there, to cook and to cool. I am going to make my meringues now. So this is, I'm making a sugar syrup. So that's just sugar and water. And basically I'm going to heat that up to 118 degrees. And in the meantime, I'm going to whisk some egg whites. Then the egg whites are going to form soft peaks. That's going to rise to about 118, then I'm going to dribble it in and you're going to get amazing, lovely meringue. Once you get a few Italian meringues under your belt, they're easy, but they never completely fail so. Sugar syrup has to be at the right temperature and it has to go into the eggs just as they come to that stiff peak. Once it's cooled down, whisking the whole time, we're also asking them to fold in a little bit of raspberry puree to give it a pink colour and a slight tang. It should be just, just pipeable. Whilst Mike's talking about making his meringue, I've actually poured my egg whites into the mixing bowl and I've got my whisk attachment ready to go. Action, not words. I've plugged this in, this is mine. I've put my egg whites in there. Well, they're my egg whites now. Have some more egg whites. Here they're you go. not your egg whites, they're my egg whites. Sorry, do you mind if I get the oven because my tar case has come out? Uh, We're both at quite a critical please. stage because yep. this, this can't go any second also, now. Also, my tar case really can't I, go over. Please, I, I, you please, didn't, please. You didn't schedule this very well. No. 118. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. That's not even a little bit baked. That's still like wet. I've already made another mistake, and that's trim it before it's been baked. But I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it. Jay's waiting for me to finish with the stand mixer so that he can make his meringue. Um, mine's perfectly fine to come out now, but I'm just going to keep him waiting for as long as possible. I've been resting for uh, just over 20 minutes. I'm concerned that I won't have enough time at the end for it to cool. 24 minutes is enough time to rest it. It's near enough 30. It's nearer 30 than what you did. Mine was, didn't even get to one. Look at that, that is soaking wet. Those air bubbles are definitely what you want. Shut when up! It, when it rises Shut up, up from the base this, of the pastry. This, this is the top of my, of my pie. Oh, you're gonna, so it's, it's, it's an upside down. Yeah. yeah. Go down, sink. Oh! <laughs> what? Don't make a noise! You've got an anemic cart tart case there, mate. Is this supposed to be coming out the side? Shut up! It's no! <laughs> no, it's leaking! It's in my hand. Ow! No liquid underneath my Now this goes in. Oh. So the baking time is 30 to 40 minutes, but what they really want to be looking for is that wobble. So it should be just set, but still a slight wobble in the middle, just like a creme caramel or something. And that's key. Oh, mate, that is bubbly. <laughs> It's meant to have like a frothy finish, it's isn't it? It's scrambled egg. You know you what? You made a quiche. Evans is going to love that. <laughs> when I made my meringue, I had two lots of raspberry puree. One 125 mils. 175. 175 mils. Oh, what have you done? Put this 125 mils into a really already quite wet meringue. meringue. I've got a mousse. 
It's really soft. It's it's softer than my. Well, that's like marshmallow, isn't it? Yeah, it's softer than the one I normally make. But <laughs> I put water in it. That's the one I normally make. Yeah. We normally make wedding cakes. Cook! You freak! I was ahead of everyone. Mine's in the freezer. Freezer? It's gone in the freezer. Yeah, it didn't say anywhere in the freezer, did it? Mine's not going to be ready. And then we've got to yeah, on the meringue. I'm going to serve and it with ice cream, hot and cold. Ah. Oh. I would say this is actually one of the easier elements. All you have to do is wait for your tart to cool, pour it over, but the only thing is, by the time their tart has cooled, will they have time to set the jelly? I think James says, wow. It's never a good it's thing. It's never a good thing, because he's never enthusiastically nice. Oh well, I've committed. So what Jamie has inadvertently done by having his pastry relax into the case and then only use a fraction of his lemon tart is actually given an opportunity that it might set. Mm -hmm. He isn't going to have the ratios he should have, but it might set. It'll be a delicious raspberry and lemon tart. Barry's has got a fluffy top. Oh, He's got yeah. a very aerated top to his lemon tart, but it is a good thickness and if that is set all the way through, then that will give a beautiful slice. I'm not sure whether it's going to cool quick enough to get his jelly to set and his meringue on top. He's using the freezer, a necessary hack with the time limit, but that might cause him even more problems. And then there is Mike, whose tart looks very good. It's like full of lemon filling, but it took a really, really, really long time to bake. So will the jelly set? Will the jelly be on there? Is it gonna melt away? I, I don't know. You can literally see him pouring on as we speak, and he's never been so quiet. I've just gone with the thinnest layer ever. It's, it's not even going to be a layer, but at least it's on there. We warned you time was tight. The last five minutes. Okay, go. This is it. Oh, there's no time to close that freezer. I've just got to go with it. I've got actual jelly. Look at that. How do you take it out of the tin? Oh, crap. Oh. All they have to do is make it look amazing. No mean feat, because Steve's recipe was stunning. No! No! Why won't you pipe? Oh no, Mike, mine's the same, mate. I've had to go for a different decoration because it wasn't piping properly. I'm <laughs> panicking. Two minutes. Ah. Not the time! <laughs> He's made a lemon meringue pie! <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Thirty seconds. So good. Buttery oh, pastry. What? That's too lemony. Tangy lemon. <laughs> that's a lie. That's exceptional. So no pressure, but that's what we we're aiming for. And we should just point out, we did not give you enough time for this. So we're quite impressed at the results. Should we start this end? Remember, this table has holes in it. A nice colour on top, heavy on the mint. I'll pick it up, see if we can get up and get a full slice. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I tell you what, the lemon tart part of that is perfect. The jelly hasn't quite set, and the meringue a little soft to get the peaks, but that is not bad at all, Baz. It's falling. It's falling. Oh, oh well, falling. eat it, eat it. I got this fine. fine. Just... <laughs> Good depth of lemon and the ratio of lemon to raspberry, bang on. This isn't helping me at all. Mate, shut up. We're going to do mine. Who's next? Do you want to do this? <laughs> We're going to need these for the meringue. <laughs> you would always leave these to cool. We've just not given you enough time to do that. It does look good. I'm gonna... This was the one I was most excited to, up until the meringue. Mate, good base. Do you know, it's quite nice warm. 
It's not actually warm. <laughs> Could be colder. The pastry beats berries. The lemon filling, I would say, is on par. Still missing the raspberry. The mousse on top is good, though. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'd like to eat your flatbread. <laughs> <laughs> Best piping out of the yeah, three. Yeah. This is a gem. Oh, oh mate, jelly give that spin! Give that a spin mate. for the camera. That oh. is, your jelly has set. Just I've right. got layers. They're layers. just yeah. thin layers. They're very thin, <laughs> but they're all in proportion. There's less of it, isn't there? <laughs> As a flavour profile, it's still on point. Like, it's still got the same tang. The actual tart bit is so good. Mm. Have you two got to pick a winner? Yeah. You two need to go to the kitchen. Come on, Ben. Let's go. Trousers. <laughs> <laughs> For once, we are in full agreement. Well, there's a lot wrong with all of them, but our favourite. <laughs> Stop. Start positively. This one had the most torching, but let it let itself down with the pastry, which was chewy. The meringue wasn't great, and the jelly was almost invisible. And for that reason, our favourite all round is Jamie's, because although it is smaller, each element is actually very good. And he adjusted the time for the thinner filling, so he used skill to nail that. Jamie won. Barry, I won a baking challenge. This is a real wake up call for the two of us. Barry and Mike hate it when Jamie wins. What a result. But the big question is do you agree? Should I have won? I should have won. <laughs> Let us know down below in the comments. Can't argue with it. Why not? because you should have won. Should have won. And that incredible recipe is part of our incredible new book bucket list, which will be available next week. And if you want it, what do you got to do, Jay? You've got to sign up to the club. All the details are down below. Now I could end this video by telling you to like the video if you enjoyed it, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and to click the bell notification box if you haven't already done that. But I thought actually I'd rather end it on a dad joke. That would be good. What's it called when one chickpea murders another? I don't know. Homicide. <laughs> hummus, because chickpeas make hummus, don't they? As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends, so if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks, and see you in a few days. <laughs> we like to party. <laughs>